Hi again, this is Kimberly from the University of Hawaii Library and Information Science web team. I'm the team captain and today I'm going to show you how to use Fugu, how, basically how to set it up and how to use it. So if you're uh, on Google, you want to just search, do a search for UHM Fugu and the very, very first link it's going to take you to is our IT page. And this gives you uh, some basic information, some screenshots and how to download and what it, basically ha just how to set you up. Now the main question that I usually get from students is once they get to this page, it's a little confusing so I'm just going to give you the real quick short version. So on the second link here is what you want to click on. As you can see here it says Fugo is available for download at and just click once. Now the follow-up question that I usually get is a lot of people don't read through this and they don't understand it when they do. They're confused by all the information so they just automatically click on the very first one but you have to really pay close attention to the OS version. Uh, as you can see here, this link right here is actually for 10.6.8 and then the second version is the most uh, complete, most updated version and it's for all of these different OS systems. So if you're not really sure what your OS system is, you want to go to the Apple at the very top of your screen, click on About This Mac, and you'll see your version right there. So mine's 10.9.1, so I would fall under the category for this particular download. So all you have to do is click on the link, it automatically downloads to your desktop, and you can run it from there. Now once you do, it's going to go into your Applications folder and it's going to look like this blow fish right here. So you just open it up, and this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be very similar to the PC version. It's just going to have a slightly newer, kind of nicer user interface. But the concept is the same. Basically you're going to be connecting to your student um, portal and being able to transfer documents from your computer desktop, because this is what we're looking at here is your computer desktop, to your um, portal space. So if you want to design a um, HTML-based portal, but you're using or an ePortfolio, but you're using a Mac, this is the way that you would do that. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, you can email me at uhlaswebteam at gmail.com. And you can also visit our website at uh lasweb team dot wordpress dot com. Thank you and have a great day.